what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 shocking wrestling moments that made the fans go silent i think we there's a there's a few moments we can just instantly think of the first one that comes to the top of my head is simple the undertaker losing his undefeated streak complete silent i was just i was just remember like it was yesterday it's probably the biggest one of the biggest shocking moments ever in wrestlemania history one of them for sure i just i couldn't believe what i was watching i didn't believe it was gonna end that way and the way it ended it just it literally came out of nowhere and people were shocked like legit shocked like just i wish i was doing youtube at that time because the video i would have had would have been fucking fantastic man so yeah uh it was one of those type of things where i was just like damn bro i i can't believe the undertaker streak is done like the the crowd was just just stunned didn't know what to say i didn't know what to say like it, it actually kind of killed the crowd for a little bit because that was a pretty good wrestlemania man it it killed the crowd people were still in awe in what they just saw it did it wasn't until Daniel Bryan came out there back from the main event where people started to get back into the mix. But from that point on, people was just like, like, what the what what? So yeah, we we definitely gotta check this out, man. This should be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one. Is it on? The fans are the heart and soul of wrestling. Their noise and energy help provide the soundtrack to the action we see in the ring. But there are also times when the crowd are quiet. This usually reflects the indifference they have towards a wrestler or a match. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes we get those rare occasions where the audience are so shocked by what they've seen, they react with silence. We'll be yep. focusing on some oh of these moments God. today as we look at 10 stunned crowd reactions in wrestling. Oh my god, that was brutal. Our first example takes us back to ECW oh 1996 for an event known as Recipe High Eddie, This show is best known for two things. Kurt Angle's first professional wrestling appearance and the infamous crucifixion of the Sandman. Sandman had just successfully defended his ECW championship against Two Cold Scorpio and following the match, the Sandman would be attacked by Raven who then ordered Stevie Richards, Nova and the Blue Meanie to tie Sandman to a cross. And I'm there going, oh, this is, this is fucked up, Meanie. This is fucked up. The Sandman oh. was given a crown of barbed wire as he hung from the cross, oh. creating one of the most shocking images ever seen in wrestling. This is the most horrifying thing Oh, wow. A stunned silence emanated throughout the ECW arena, which normally housed the most rowdy and vocal of fans. Oh, yeah, that's... There was one time in the ECW arena where the fans weren't saying, you know, go to hell and scream, and they were just quiet. It was the right kind of heat. I mean, the people were like, ah, this is heavy. You know what I mean? And they were just yeah, like, no, nah, that's... <sighs> ECW, oh, my God. That's... That's ex it's extreme on a different type of level. Oh, like, I don't even know what I would say. If I was to see this now, well, but the networks would be, there would be so many phone calls into the networks. Like, what the hell is this? Oh, my gosh. That the quiet Japanese heat. Raven was forced to apologize for going through with the crucifixion, seemingly without the knowledge of the promotion CEO, Paul Heyman. So for the people who I deeply offended, I apologize. Heyman also insisted he knew nothing about the angle when confronted by Kurt Angle. A furious angle threatened legal action and demanded that his segment from earlier in the night not be aired on the same oh, show as the crucifixion. Wow. If I'm on TV with that crucifixion, if, if, if my name or my face is seen on TV on the same program, you'll be here for my attorney. Kurt's relationship with these. Damn. I mean, he has an image to uphold. If he sees, like, people see that, like, you're a part of this. Yeah. Woo. CW effectively ended on the night it began as the recently crowned Olympic gold medalist would make no further appearances for the company. Wow. The promotion made sure to never air the incident with footage of it only coming to light as a result of being featured on the rise and fall of ECW DVD. Wow. Much like ECW did, the WWF's oh, Attitude Era all Definitely remember that. Definitely kind of creeped me out as a kid. I was afraid of The Undertaker, so this was just even worse. Also pushed the envelope. And one way in which they did this came in the form of man-on-women violence. One yep. of the most shocking examples of this taking place occurred on the 8th. <sighs> the attitude era was full of equal rights. Equal fights every time. April 9th, 2001 edition of Raw, 
where Triple H and Stone Cold as the two-man yep. power trip team Ooh, with this was brutal. to take on the Hardy Boys. This was Anita. so it was a short brutal. But entertaining match with plenty of action. Oh my God, this teams. was messed the finish up. came when Lita hit a twist of fate and moonsault combination to Stephanie, which got the three. After the bell, Austin and Triple H cornered Lita this and the game was then hit her with a super pedigree. brutal. <laughs> The Hardys then attempted to Bro, JR Steph going crazy. With a steel chair. Austin rained down a series of chair shots to Matt, who Lita bravely tried to shield from the beating, but it only got worse. Oh my God. Oh my God. The attack on Lita was done to get heat on Stone Cold, who had just turned heel at WrestleMania. And it worked. They were trying their hardest to make him a heel, but that moment right there, I was like, all right, bro, okay, Stone Cold, I, I can't cheer for you. That was fucking, oh my God, one of the most brutal segments ever to take, hit, uh, put on a woman, oh my jeez. By delivering a steel chair beat down to the rock, just like the one he had dished out to Lita. The fans just did not want to boo Austin though. They even cheered him after his chair shots to Matt Hardy. Some yeah, some did. Mostly quiet for the rattlesnake's destruction of Lita. <laughs> Which was unsurprising given that this was probably one of the most brutal beatings ever given to a woman by a man Facts. in WWE history. Here, Bret Hart defended the WWF Championship against Bob Backlund in a submission match, where the only way to win would be if one wrestler's corner men threw in the towel. The British Bulldog was in the corner of Bret while Owen Hart was in Backlund's corner. As Owen and Brett's parents, Stu and Helen Hart, sat in the front row. Deep into the match, Brett gained the advantage by locking in the sharpshooter until Owen interfered by attacking his brother from behind. This led to the Bulldog chasing Owen and then charging at him only for Owen to move and Bulldog to crash into the steps. A concerned Brett looked on to see if Bulldog was okay, but this left Hart in a prime position for a cross-faced chicken wing at the hands of Backland. This was a move the WWF had done a great job of getting over on television in the months prior, with no one being able to get out of the hole. This made things all the worse for Brett, since his corner man was out cold. From there, Owen pleaded with his parents, attempting to make them wow. throw the towel on Brett's behalf. Helen attempted to throw the towel in, only for Stu to stop her. The fans continued to get behind Brett, who'd been struggling in the hole for over nine minutes. Damn! Eventually, it became too much to bear for Helen, who snatched the towel away from Stu, throwing it in the ring and causing the match to come to an end. Owen immediately ran in and grabbed the towel, reeling away in celebration since his plan had worked to perfection. Backlund stood in the ring victorious as a concerned silence came over the crowd. Damn. Soon, I think we have a new World Wrestling Federation champion. Stu and Helen helped Brett to the back, whilst Backlund was presented with the WWF Championship in the ring. I can't believe it. Wow, that's some Next good storytelling right there. Fans were shocked the oh, this one right here. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, my. I just, I, I, this is a good moment because I, I literally was just like, what? Are they serious right now? Like, this is not a joke? No, no, they were, they were dead serious. And, oh, some of the worst days in SmackDown, bro. Oh, my God. Bearing at the 2017 Backlash pay per view where Jinder Mahal challenged Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. The match began to get interesting once the wrestlers brought the action to the outside. There, Orton delivered three backdrops onto the announce table to Jinder and his managers, the Singh brothers. Oh my yeah, that was that was a crazy spot. He hit the, Randy ugh. politely gave JBL back his hat before the Viper continued his annihilation of the Singhs by hitting a double draping DDT. But this gave time for Jinder to recover, allowing him to hit the Coloss on Orton, which shockingly got the victory. The people in the building reacted in amazement. Boys was like, what? Bro, nobody no was like, believe that well, Mahal a lot of people was just like shocked. WWE champion. Since Mahal had been an enhancement talent for nearly all of his time in WWE, but had now been quickly fast-tracked into winning the WWE title in order to increase WWE's growing popularity yep. in India. Had the company done a better job in building up Mahal prior to winning the belt, his victory wouldn't have come off as so shocking. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> We now go to a match that not only shocked the fans, 
but also did damage to an entire market. This happened when NWO killed the town at WCW 4 Brawl 1997 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The match in question saw the NWO battle the four horsemen in war games. The New World Order started out with a 2-on-1 advantage, double teaming Chris Benoit. Steve Mongo McMichael then entered to even the odds. The next wrestler out was six, followed up by the nature boy Ric Flair, much to the audience's delight. Kevin Ash was the final entry for the NWO, and then Kurt Hennig entered last for the horsemen. It was now a 4v4 match, but the odds swung yet again in the NWO's favor when Kurt Hennig turned on the horsemen, effectively joining the New World Order in the process. The remaining oh, wow. horsemen members were then bound to the cage via the handcuffs Hennig provided, all except for Ric Flair, who instead received a jackknife powerbomb from Nash. Flair's head was then oh. placed in the cage doorway, and the NWO threatened to smash Ric's skull with the steel unless the horsemen surrendered. But despite Mongo surrendering for his team, Hennig went through with the assault. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh! The announcers sold the moment tremendously Des. while the crowd looked on in shock. This was Flair Country after all. The most sick that, that just reminds me, and I, I don't know if this is going to be on the list, but if you guys know the whole Rhea Ripley sending Beth Phoenix to the gulags at Extreme Rules after Edge said he quit just for it to happen anyway, I don't know if they're going to put that on there, but yo, that was brutal. Woo! Any night that I have ever spent it as a broadcaster, I have spent here tonight. We've got to get out. And the North Carolina crowd had just witnessed their favorite wrestler and group get absolutely decimated. I wanted heat because heat is life. Yep, In a more heartbreaking moment now, we go back to the October 22nd, uh, 2018 a, episode of Raw, where the very Universal Champion moment. Roman Reigns opened the show to talk to the audience. Reigns would speak out of character, saying that his real name was Joe, and that he'd previously been living with leukemia when he was younger, and unfortunately, it had returned. And I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. You could hear a pin drop as the fans yeah, people, believe it. They watched on in People were like... This is when he just won the Universal Championship. And at this point, Roman, he was a face. But people, mostly the male fans, they just didn't care. They just wanted him off their TV screens because how he was booked. But when he came out there and he said what he said, it was emotional. It was it was like one of those moments like, oh, shit, this is, this is not part of the show. This is actually something serious. Like, well, not part of the show, but in a sense, like a storyline. Like, bro, I watched it live. I was just like, it was, it was really, it was kind of heartbreaking because you weren't sure how this was going to pan out. And for the first time in a very long time, people actually gave a damn about Roman Reigns on a, on a serious level. Like, just the person it's himself. And it was, it was crazy, man. Definitely a moment where people just went silent. Shock with some being driven to tears. Reigns then relinquished the Universal Championship and was met by his fellow Shield members, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins on the ramp. They each did their famous pose to end one of the most emotional segments ever Facts. in WWE history. I can't be that fight champion. And I'm going to have to relinquish the Universal Championship. Two hours after Reigns' announcement, the crowd would be completely stunned. Oh, in the game. It yep. was the main event of the show, and the Raw yep. Tag Team titles were on the line when Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins challenged Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Late into the bout, the referee would be bumped. Braun Strowman then ran in and brawled through the crowd with McIntyre. Ziggler then tried to use the tag this belt was, as a weapon. Only this was for crazy, him to take bro. Off him by Ambrose. Dolph then ate a curb stomp while Ambrose threw the ref back into the ring to count the fall, meaning Ambrose and Rollins were the new Raw Tag Team Champions. During the celebration, However, yep. Ambrose turned on Turn, Rollins he by Seth with the dirty deeds. What the hell? Oh my God! That was the hell? that was so, bro. That raw was crazy. Not only did we just see what happened with Roman, then he turns on him, and I was just like, "What is one of the craziest Monday Night Raws ever?" I was just like, "What the what, bro?" But they butchered his heel turn. They fucked up his heel turn. They turned him into Bane. It was stupid. They they botched his heel turn for sure. Fans' faces told the story since it was unfathomable that Ambrose would turn on Rollins on such a night. Fans were left asking why as Dean continued to punish Seth. 
taking the assault to the outside. From there, Ambrose tore off the protective padding. Yeah, this was brutal, floor. bro. One more dirty deeds later, and Ambrose exited through the crowd. This is so, that was so good. Injury oh! Throughout the sport's existence. If you guys all the every, uh, the, uh, the Chavo Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio feud. Oh my God, that shit was so good. I remember this. He had him hung up and he was beating the crap out of his kneecap. And he was gone for a while. And then they had a match where he, uh, Rey Mysterio kind of got his revenge as well. He had uh, Chavo in the same situation. Started tearing up his kneecap. This was such a good feud on SmackDown. Oh my God, I forgot this about maybe this. maybe worked into the story of a match where fans will know how much pain the wrestler is in based on how they're selling. It's much rarer for the audience to actually be able to see the scars or physical marks of the injury. This made the story of Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins oh, match inside Hell in a Cell. I knew this was going to be on there. Rhodes entered the match with a I knew this was going to be on there. And once the American Nightmare removed his jacket, he revealed the true effects of the injury. It was as if all the air had been taken out of the arena. The audience went watching this live. We've seen a video uh, talking about this earlier this week. Once Cody took off his jacket, Stunned, people were just like, "Oh, oh, oh no!" For the first few minutes of a Hell in a Cell match, people didn't have nothing to say because they knew this wasn't gonna be a good night for Cody Rhodes here. But it ultimately made him a bigger star than he already was. So can't wait for him to come back. From chanting Cody's name to becoming eerily quiet. Rhodes sensationally worked through the injury oh as he and Rhodes wrestled an all-time classic match. Through classic all the punishment, match. Cody fought back by using a bull rope, hitting two crossroads, and then nailing Rollins with a sledgehammer to pick up the win. One wrestling moment that will live in infamy yep. took place at WrestleMania 30, the night where Brock Lesnar wrestled The Undertaker. The dead man went into the match with a 21-0 WrestleMania undefeated streak. The build to the match made it seem like it would play out like any other streak match. But if we go further back, we'll remember when Taker and Lesnar went to war in 2002 and 2003, with the Phenom never managing to come out with his yep. hand raised. Brock always seemed to have Taker's number. Facts. However, Mania 30 seemed like the perfect time for the dead man to finally get his big win over the Beast and make nope. 22 and 0 on the grandest stage. Early in the match, Taker took a nasty bump on the floor, which ultimately gave him a concussion. This greatly affected the match as Undertaker looked like a shell of himself for the uh -huh. rest of the encounter. I got hurt so bad. I don't even remember that match. So today I don't remember it. Damn. Though, despite his condition and state of mind, the dead man was still able to deliver all of his signature moves, but so was Lesnar hitting three F5s three. and then going for the cover. The fans' reaction to the pinfall tells the whole story as they came out of their seats in complete amazement. The streak is over. While others looked on, some in surprise, some in confusion, and some in a complete chaos. <laughs> Many believed The Undertaker would retire undefeated at WrestleMania, or at the very least, have the streak broken by a younger wrestler. So when Lesnar got the victory, it shocked everyone. Facts. There are not many moments in wrestling that could have gathered such an incredible reaction, and it's hard to imagine we'll ever see anything like this again. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, this is the one time in wrestling where everyone remembers where they were watching, and most importantly... Big facts. I remember this, like I said. This, when I think of... Fans going silent. This is the moment I will always remember for the rest of my life. I know where I was. I was at my mom's crib. I watching it on a, on a, a a special website at the time, watching it for the free, and I I didn't know what to say. I was just like, what? <laughs> How they felt. Ultimate respect to the Undertaker. Finally, we'll look at perhaps the only moment that can rival The Undertaker's street breaking when it comes to fan reaction. We're talking about the night Bruno Sammartino lost the WWF Championship after holding the belt for over seven years Jesus before losing Christ. to the Russian bear Ivan Koloff at Madison Square Garden in 1971. Damn. There exists only grainy 8mm film footage of the match, but it's still crazy to watch it all play out. The garden was said to have been reminiscent of a funeral on the night. Given the crowd's astonishment, it was inconceivable that Bruno would lose the title he held for so long. So Damn. much so that Koloff was not presented with the belt 
until after he got back into the locker room, as it was feared the MSG crowd would wow. riot and paraded the title around the ring. Instead, he quickly left as the audience looked on. Some were in tears, but all were in shock. Wow. And that brings us to the end of this video. As Six years. That's champ, bro. That's, that's fucking insane, man. But yeah, this this video definitely brought me down memory lane man i mean it's one of those moments where when they're able to get you to just be stunned in silence or in shock that's when they did their job that's when they did their job so comment down below let me know which moment can you remember it don't even have to be in this list when you was completely stunned at what you just saw on the screen in the wrestling ring. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on channel. Road 2. 90K, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.